to bring you guys this video. Really, really good action out on the surf. A quick little morning session that I did recently. But first, a quick little update for all you Bay Area fishermen out there. I want to show you guys something. So here's the kayak. I haven't used this in a couple of weeks. It feels like it's been forever. But these guys are what I'm itching to use here pretty soon. So if you're watching this video as it's coming out, this Saturday, November 5th, is opening day for Dungeness crab season here in the Bay Area. And this year, just like last year, we're gonna be limited to these hoop nets, no crab cages, uh, because I guess there's a lot of whales out there. Actually, in this video, you're about to see us fish from the surf, and I saw a ton of whales just from the surf, so I'm sure there's it's gonna be a little while before we can use actual crab traps. But these hoop nets, very effective. I'll be using these just like I did last year. I was able to bag a couple limits, no problem, with these hoop nets. And I'm hoping to do the same thing this year. So I'll be out there, hope to see some of you guys out there, and if not, Look forward to the videos coming to the channel very, very soon. But anyways, let's get out to surf. <sighs> Another day in the office. All right, we got wonderful conditions today. Ankle slappers here in the surf. This is gonna be perfect for my favorite way to catch fish out here in the surf, AKA the jerk bait, AKA the thing that's caught me Probably the biggest surf fish. Yeah, definitely the biggest surf fish on this channel, a huge striper. But today we're not really targeting striper. My target today is a few surf perch. And a lot of people will hate on the surf perch. They say it's mushy, which is true. It's not as firm as some other fish you can catch out here, but I for one, I'm a big surf perch advocate. I love surf perch. So if I can catch a few, take them home for dinner, that would be a successful day for me. There we go, there's a fish. That feels like a good one. Right in there. Right in that little trough right there. Come on down, little guy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. One of the better perch I've landed in recent history. Look at that. That's a nice one right there. Well, there's a nice little keeper to start off the morning. Nice little male surf perch. So on these barred, this is a barred surf perch. No minimum size here, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys this little fin. It's really predominant on this one because it's a little bit bigger fish. But this fin right here, it's kind of like, it looks like rubber almost. It's not like, you know, like this dorsal fin. Um, but anyways, that's how you can tell the males from the females. So that one is a male and a nice one at that. Usually. The males are a little bit smaller than the females on average. Um, and this is probably one of the larger ones that you'll see. The females are the ones that get really big. Those are gonna be the big 15, 16 inches um, plus. But yeah, look at that. Lucky crack pinned right in the corner of the mouth right there. Right where it should be. Got him good. But yeah, good start to the morning. Let's see if we can get another one. So all I like to do with this leg craft, give it a cast, a nice healthy cast. It's not gonna cast a mile, but it'll cast far enough to get to these surf perch. And then I just like to give it a slow and steady retreat. Sometimes I'll give it a few paw or a few uh, jerks like that. Sometimes that'll get a strike, but most of the time, with the surf perch especially, just that slow and steady retrieve. And make sure when you're retrieving it, you fish it all the way back to the sand. Because sometimes those perch are hiding out right, right in close there. I don't think there's any real secret to it. The biggest thing I'd say is just be persistent with it. For me, it's so easy to go back to the sand crab because you're gonna catch more fish or with the sandworm or a grub or whatever. There's, there's hundreds of different ways to catch surf perch. And most of them are honestly probably more effective. You're probably gonna catch more fish with them. I don't know what it is about the plug bite, but to me, there's just something 
a little bit more exciting to it. And in addition, the average size of fish you're gonna catch on this plug compared to any of the other techniques, this is the best way to catch big surf perch. There we go. Oh yeah, right in there. Right in there. There we go. Another nice one. Yeah, a lot of times they get hooked by these back, or the front two hooks, but today the both fish are hooked with this back hook. I don't know if that makes any difference or not, but I know it's got a bunch of sand on it, but I wanted to show you guys that back fin. So this is a female. You can see that back fin is like all uniform. It's all, I don't know what you call it, but it's that regular fin material, I guess you could say. So that one's a female. The male has that different portion on this like front half of the anal fin. So anyways, another nice one, probably 12, 13 inches or so. Nice two in the bag. Let's go for another one. So people always ask me for recommendations for surf fishing. And honestly, I, if I were to recommend something just either new to fishing or new to surf fishing, I would recommend throwing some kind of bait first, whether it be sand crab, even a gulp, sandworm, something like that. You're definitely going to catch a lot more fish with that. But say you, you've caught a few surf perch, you feel like you're getting the hang of it and you want to step up your game a little bit, that's when I would go ahead and recommend Lucky Craft. You're definitely going to catch less fish, but the average size of fish you're going to catch should be a lot bigger than what you're catching with the sand crab or the sandworm or anything really else. So don't expect a lot of fish, but expect that the bites that you're going to get are going to be good quality bites. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, cool. Drag. oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. You can see it in the wave there. That's a nice one. Definitely the biggest one of the day. Oh, in that wave. Pull it right up. Yes, nice. Ah, uh, got my slab that I was looking for. Look at this one. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for right there. That's a nice slab for the dinner table. But let's get this one unhooked and get back in there. Bite's good right now. Capitalize well we got that that bite window. There we go. There's another one. Feels like a good one. A solid one. Bite is definitely slowed down with the sun coming out, but still getting some to bite here. That's another solid fish. Solid fish. All right, well, definitely a tougher bite once the sun came out, but just got another one to hit there. That's another solid, like 13, 13 inch fish, something like that, a little over a pound. Again with the back hook. I think every fish today I caught on the back hook. So a lot of the times I'll hook them on the front too. Maybe the middle one might be the most popular, I think, but for whatever reason today, all on the back hook. This one was not coming off. All three trebles pinned inside there. All right, put them in the bag. All right, guys, another fun day out on the surf, kind of like we suspected. Once that sun came out, the bite really got tough out here. But luckily, I was able to get one more once the sun came out and then also capitalize on three really solid bites, with that third one being 
the big, probably 15, 16 inch fish uh, early in the morning when the fog was still here, overcast skies, prime conditions in my opinion, but nevertheless, another fun day out here in the surf. I appreciate all the positive feedback I'm getting on my recent surf fishing videos. I'm looking to continue that into the winter season. So appreciate you guys' support. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Later.